Hey guys, Mike Collette here. Obviously you can't see my face, but you can see the Concept2 monitor. I just wanted to go through a couple quick tricks when uh, using the uh, Concept2, especially if you're using it for you know, a CrossFit style workout, some sort of interval work, how to really set the rower. So a lot of times people will get on this thing and just start rowing or hit the just row button which will prompt up this screen uh, which you know you can change the units change the display but basically it's going to give you your time and your meters or your calories or you know as you cycle through you can go to some different things your wattage whatnot but basically if you're doing some sort of uh, metcon um, where you're doing uh, like for example we're doing Christine today which is three rounds for time 500 meter row uh, 12 body weight deadlifts and 21 um, box jumps. Um, so instead of having to get on the rower and just hit just row or just you know and then clear out the screen what you can do is actually set uh, the distance on the rower uh, for variable um, rest time. So basically you hit select workout um, then you go to new workout here and then you see how it has these different selections or single distance so say for example I just wanted to row 500 meters for time I would hit single distance and then be able to calculate that um, same thing with single time, that would allow me to kind of just set a certain time if I want to get on the erg and just row for 30 minutes as a, as a light recovery. I could do that as well, it would count down. Uh, but for something like this, where we have some, uh, you know, some uh, distance that's going to stay the same throughout a workout, we can set that distance, uh, but we can also set a rest time. But, you know, what a lot of people don't know is that you can actually create an undefined rest time. So basically, if you use the little arrow button to scroll over, hit that a few times, this set rest time starts to blink and you just hit the add button and it says undefined rest time so basically you're not going to set a defined rest time because you don't know how long essentially it's going to take you to actually row the 500 meters do the you know said work so for example like I said today we're doing Christine so do the 500 meter row then 12 deadlifts and 21 box jumps so you can come right back to the rower and uh, then just hit this check the check button and it'll prompt up a new 500 meters for you so basically after you hit that 500 meters you do all the other work you come back to the rower it'll just say something like continue, you hit that continue button, it'll prompt up another 500 meters for you to uh, continue rowing. So a nice little trick when setting up the rower, using the rowing ergometer um, during uh, any sort of Metcon or uh, you know CrossFit workout.